A corpse flower known for its putrid smell has bloomed for the first time in 15 years in Sydney, Australia. Thousands lined up at the Royal Botanic Garden with some queuing for up to two hours to catch a glimpse of the rare bloom. The flower has the biggest, smelliest flower spike in the world. And once opened, it flowers for just 24 hours, with visitors also wanting to catch a whiff of the smell that surrounds the flower when it blooms. This is the fifth time a corpse flower has bloomed at the garden. It's definitely worth the wait. I think it's really good that so many people are interested in such a, such a cool thing because it's, it's quite niche, but there's so many people here. There's a live stream going on, there's the chats popping off. It's just, it's really cool that so many people are into this. Uh, at the moment, it's probably about a six out of 10. It smells a little bit like when you, there's a dead animal in the house, but you don't know where it is or what it is. Um, it's kind of that smell, like a musty, dead type of smell. So we, what we'll what we'll try to aim to do is to pollinate it, to hand pollinate it, produce seed of it. Once it all dies down, we'll harvest that seed and we'll be able to use it and share it with other botanic gardens to grow more of these plants. The flower is beautiful. Um, the smell was like hot garbage, but but faint. It wasn't kind of overwhelming. It wasn't um, overpowering. It was it was great. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I mean, it was was it a nice smell? No, but it was impressive. <laughs>